going on, everyone? And welcome back to another edition of Action Sunday. And just as I said in my uh, channel update video, this week I am reviewing uh, the Triple X movies as a double feature, as I said. So... Um, if you if you're just tuning in, um, so back back at the end of 2019, I reviewed Rise of Xander Cage, the third third um, movie of the of the series. So why heck not? Why am I, how did I go back and review the first two movies, Triple X and Triple X: Day of the Union? So and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk a little bit about them, and uh, and like let's see. Then maybe after that, maybe after that, I'll probably just rank them from best to worst and like uh, get my overall thoughts on the entire series in general. But anyway, let's talk about the first one. Okay, the first one, Triple X uh, came out came out in the early 2000s uh, starred uh, Vin Diesel as uh, as as Xander Cage uh and, and of course the character of Xander Cage is that he's one of those X game junkies and yes oh my god wow um wow he's pretty much like the coolest laid back like I would say internet celebrity you know as the you know the internet was was it was you know gradually growing by by then uh so yeah so yeah he became a celebrity somehow he gets recruited he becomes a spy so yeah that makes so yeah that's cool right yeah but but in varying degrees, like as the movie progresses, then all of a sudden the story gets gets more and more far fetched, and also it starts to hit. Also becomes so much outlandish and cartoonish at one point. It's like, how can I say this? It's like you see all these crazy stunts, but that you say, oh, that's rad. But at the same time, you realize, wait a minute, how is that possible? Nothing is possible. It's like. What were they thinking? It's like, what, what happened? Did they just turn the cartoon factor up, up, or just the, this this movie just to follow the lies, the the laws of physics? What the hell were they thinking? But hey, if that, I don't know what the what the deal is. If they were trying to make it so batshit crazy or unrealistic, if they if that was their mission, then I think they did a good job with that. But even though I think it's think that's what kind of brought these movies down for them. It's like it could t like we put stuff like this, the CGI heavy effects and all these crazy um the green screen green stuff. It really takes you out of it. You should real. I really f feel like some, these movies should have been more better if you just focused on the characters and the story more than the. CGI. CGI stunts, okay, because that really took you out of it. But I will admit, um, that that was the what I mean, that was what uh, made the first movie incredible. As for the second one, instead of Xander Cage, which of course, as they explain in in the opening scene of that, is that Xander Cage is dead, and that they that um they they find they have to find a new Triple X agent. And enter Darius Brown, okay, played by Ice Cube. Um, and of course, uh, what made this guy well, well interesting, or like I would say almost a poor opposite of uh, Zero Gage, is that this guy is military, yet yet he doesn't do any crazy stunt, crazy other X games or the stunts like that. Instead, he just he he just loves loves cars. He's like, wait a minute, wait, hold on. No, now let me pump the brakes here. Wait a sec. This kind of sounds like something that we've seen in the Fast and Furious. Then why would they... So technically, shouldn't Ice Cube be in the first movie and have Vin Diesel be in the second one? I don't get it. But, sti but still, I think... But still, each of these movies has their own own different little gimmick or aesthetic to it. Uh, with State of the Union, um, it's... Uh, how do I say this? It's more of like a government... A, there's, it has to deal with a government conspiracy. Somehow, someone's trying to take out um, the NSA, what, which is what uh, the, what Xander Cage uh, it kind of works for. So, yeah, I just, yeah, spoilers ahead. If no, no, you never saw, saw any of those movies. Uh, but, but yeah, it just goes off from there. That it, it involves like the Secretary of Defense, played by Willem Dafoe. In my, in my opinion, I think Willem Dafoe was the best thing about State of the Union because, like, like he, like, I have no idea. Was was it with Willem Dafoe and playing, playing like slime ball villains, and of course, especially a corrupt go government official, not just a corrupt government official, the Secretary of Defense. Okay, because if you think about that, so yeah, and there's a lot going into this. I, I'm glad that they were able to build. Some backstory for for some of these characters, especially um, uh, the Secretary of Defense. I th I think that really makes makes him more with a motive and make you want to come want to root for him or kind of hate him at the same time. But I don't, I don't know. I think think they were think they were trying to I think they were saying mixed messages with that guy. But but still, I think think that was one of the coolest things about that. So yeah. Uh, not much else I can say about these movies. Um, I think they were just there for the eye candy. They were there for the fun, and just and that, like I said, they're they're. I feel like they're they're not masterpieces. I'm gonna make this right now. I feel like they were there to like get people interested in like like the visual effects or the stunt or the stunt work. And, well, the stunt work was definitely more geared towards the first one, and of course more, more of the X game stuff because the X games were definitely on a high around that time. You know, guys doing you know like like snowboarding 
and skateboarding and all this art crazy shit. So yeah, I think that was kind of a pretty interesting tie-in. I, I don't know. No, I'm kind of, kind of thinking outside of the box here. But yeah, I think you see where I'm going with these movies. Now, but now to but now to give these movies a score. So if I had to score these two movies, so I'm gonna give the first Triple X movie. I have written, I thought long hard about this. I'm gonna give the first Triple X movie a six and a half out of ten because of I because of, because of the Vin Diesel character. I love the st stories, but like I but the stunt work I think I think was pretty good, but at the same time I think it was also its detriment. As for its sequel, I'm gonna say this right now the sequel I, I'm giving it a solid. Five, okay, and, and no disrespect to to, uh, to Ice Cube, okay. Ice Cube, I th felt like did a good job, but I felt like I like it, this was definitely taking him out of his comfort zone, and also the fact that like um I he was trying he was really trying to fill the a role of trying even though it's a totally separate character from Xander Cage, but I feel like he would he did that did give a a very good promising bass performance, but. I definitely felt like uh, um, Xander Gage was definitely the more stronger hero. This guy, like the Darius Brown, like I think was just he was just okay. He's just military. There he takes up the triple X mantle. Okay, and then of course you got the whole beef between him and the Secretary of Defense. So yeah, there's that whole whole story arc and and backstory there. So there there you go. As for when it comes to like stunt stunts and effects, and that one, uh, there's hardly any. Like if you count the uh, the presidential bullet train uh, and the stunt, I um, it's to me it's just it's just overblown with like uh, CG for your eyes. Like I felt like really uh, all right. It was so it was there. It's like it just didn't. I feel like it just didn't please everybody. All right. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. But anyway, so after all that, if I had to rank these in three movies, so from from the three, the third one being the worst, and the first and uh, and the top and the number one spot. So let's see. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say I'm probably gonna say uh, uh, State Unions would probably be ranked three because uh, it was definitely the weakest. Um, uh, Rise of Xander Cage would probably be two, and the first one would be uh, number would be top top of the list because yeah. I think it's definitely that formula of hey you can't hey sequels are not gonna flip up to the magnetism that is their first one but then again again these movies have their different aesthetic where it's you know focusing on X game stunts or some kind of political little coup or something like that but you get my point all right but but hey if you even if, you, even if it's you just want to sit there and watch it just to kill a few hours or even an hour and forty minutes literally seriously the sequel is not that long folks you, I literally watched it an entire night so. So yeah, all right. So that does for a night. If you want to see these movies, go go ahead and watch them for yourselves. All right. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for some more awesome, exciting videos.